Today on X Play, after waiting three long, annoying years, we finally review Gran Turismo 4. Plus, more games with cars, like Top Gear RPM tuning and NASCAR sim racing. Hope you like driving in circles. It's game time. Please welcome two people who don't want to touch your dipstick, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Clever. Hello and welcome to this automotive edition of X-Play. Today, it's all about car talk because we have reviews of three racing games, including Gran Turismo 4. Yeah, Gran Turismo 4. Only the biggest driving game of this year. Oh, and also the biggest driving game of 2004. Oh, so 2003 because, you know, it's supposed to come out then too. Sony is so punctual with its major releases. I mean, it's only been in development for part of a decade, which makes Gran Turismo 4 the eyes wide shut of video games. Well, at least they slipped it in before the end of the console cycle. True. Anyway, Gran Turismo is not the only racing game we've got for you. So if you've been yearning for games about wheels that spin fast, we have a couple reviews for you. So whether you like NASCAR or street racing or you just want your damn Gran Turismo 4 review, we're here for you. But before we begin, we'd like to explain why we have so much simmering resentment towards Gran Turismo 4 and its ever-delayed release date. But to do that, we have to go back to a time when our hair was totally different. Oh, hair. <laughs> It's been a long road to GT4, and I mean a long road. Oh, it's young us. Oh, this is going to be great. Look at how full of hope we are. So idealistic. But here, behind us, we have Gran Turismo 4. Which is a driving game, which means I'm not terribly interested. So I'm going to go find those games with that jumping and the shooting. Excuse me. Gran Turismo 4 is the latest edition of Sony's ever popular series. Now, as you can see, the game looks great, but I know what you're asking. Do I really need to put down the cash for another Gran Turismo game? Hmm. But let me tell you what's new. First, online gameplay. You can play online to up to against six people. Another thing is it has new and improved physics. It has over 500 cars and about 50 race courses. So it is the new and improved Gran Turismo 4. If you like GT, you're going to love this game. Oh, look, we're all dressed up and nowhere to go but E3. This is when we named Gran Turismo 4 one of the best games shown for the PS2 that year. People are really eager to hear because, of course, the PlayStation 2 is the oldest next-gen console, but we're ever amazed by what it can do. Here are some of the best examples. Gran Turismo 4. This is Sony's biggest baby, and it's easy to see why. But obviously, what makes this game so much more appealing over previous version and why it's on our list is the inclusion of online play. We can already hear the modems a humming. We were still so optimistic when we went to the Tokyo Game Show at the end of 2003. We were excited because we got a preview of the game. A really short, crappy looking preview. And, of course, we're excited at the show, too. Once again, there's over 500 cars in the game, and it's going to be online. But one thing we don't know is when it's actually coming out. Because right now, everything's indicating a 2004 release. Yeah, it was so far to the end of 2004 that it was actually 2005. And no online play. I'm not bitter. I just feel lied to. And I'm bitter. Did I mention there was no online play? We move now to E3 2004. We are older, slightly jaded. You can tell I'm jaded because I have black hair now. Here comes our obligatory mention of GT4. Oh, our dear Gran Turismo 4. We saw you at last year's E3 and we're, of course, seeing you here again. We've got 500 cars, 100 courses, and you can plug your USB printer into your PlayStation and you can print out pictures of your cars. Boys like that. We go from online play to printing out pictures of cars. It's almost the same thing. TGS, September 2004. Now we're really jaded. We also saw a ton of games we are excited about, like... <gasps> Coded Arms, Puyo Pop, Gran Turismo, Armored Core, Ape Escape, Dead Aggressor, and Lumines from the makers of Rez. I like that GT4 was on the same list as Puyo Pop. At least now we can bask in the glory. 
Yeah, watching that footage, I could pinpoint the exact moment I turned the dark side of the force. Oddly, it coincided with the G4 merger, though. I must say, you look good as a Sith Lord. These are not the compliments I'm looking for. These aren't the compliments you're looking for. You will introduce the next segment. I will introduce the next segment. Don't repeat what I said, just introduce the next review. Okay, sure. Here's a review of Top Gear RPM tuning. Once in a while, X-Play reviews a game that's so special, so magical, just so darn entertaining, we can't contain our glee and satisfaction. This is not one of those once in a while. It's Top Gear RPM tuning. When we previewed this earlier in the year, the message boards went nuts, demanding more Top Gear. We need to know more about this forgettable game, you said. Please, give us more Top Gear, you demanded. Allow me to introduce you to your victims. Rick, you know him. Next to him is Dominic. Then, of course, we banned those selected posters and sent them over to the filter boards. Let's start off on a high point. My name is Adam. I am a celebrity, and I host the Nielsen-rated water cooler trend-setting show, X-Play. Top Gear RPM tuning is no such thing. It's a street racer, and in 2005, that's as original and novel as a Nicolas Cage movie, Con Air notwithstanding. If you didn't know, or didn't care, whichever floats your boat, the more races or missions you clear, get this, the more money and fame you'll get, and you'll be able to customize your cars even more. It's also painstakingly redundant. It's redundant because there's only eight cars to play around with. Eight cars? Heck, Billy Joel goes through eight cars in an afternoon. Just kidding, Billy. We love you just the way you are. Completely inebriated. Generic is too good a word. Too good a word. At least there's tunnels, and anything can happen in a tunnel. And now it's time for another episode of X-Play's Conspiracy Theory of the Week. People think Princess Diana was killed when the paparazzi chased her down. Yeah, uh -uh, not true. She was killed because she got too close to the truth with JFK. Yeah, too close. And if you think Robert Blake wasn't involved, <laughs> got your head up your ass. Who is that? You know them? That was another episode of X-Play's Conspiracy Theory of the Week. Let's meet some of the characters who make up the story of Top Gear. Here's Vince. He's the dieselish main star of the game. Good career move, Vince. Here's Mac. We got a full house tonight. Setting race relations back two decades. And here's me, Adam Sessler, not enjoying this game. Top Gear RPM tuning gets an apathetic two out of an apathetic five. There are only eight cars. Oh yeah, the selection is mind-boggling. Do I take the purple muscle car or the purple muscle car? Take the purple muscle car. Well, if you want a game where you can actually choose from hundreds of cars, why not stick around for our review of Gran Turismo 4? Because we've been hanging around waiting for that review for three years. Coming up, this one's for the flyover states. It's our review of NASCAR, sim racing. Uh, Michelle? Can you see how much time is left in the game? Mm. Michelle? Introducing new Butterfinger Crisp, the first light crispy wafer candy bar with Butterfinger cream and crunchy bits. Michelle? So bold, so delicious. Michelle? Look at the screen. What? So dangerous. Michelle? Butterfinger Crisp from Nestle, a whole new way to break out of the ordinary. Also in minis. is ready for personalization at Scion.com with over 30 Scion accessories. Gamefly, rent the hottest titles for Xbox, PS2, GameCube, and GBA. Games like Star Wars Republic Commando and Tekken 5, rated T. No due dates, no late fees, free delivery. Go to Gamefly.com for your free trial. Gamefly, the smartest way to rent games. Where do they get it? How are they moving it? 
Agent Frazanski, Narc Squad. The DEA is forcing themselves on this. Your old partner, Marcus, is the lead agent. This is our case. Don't move in until I give the word. Yeah, right. He's going for the gun! Police, freeze! Some moments I was an addict. But this moment, I'm a cop. Two cops on the street face a choice. Do they walk the line? Or do they cross it? Narc, 1995. Big hit, friend prices. Rated M for mature. I'm Boss Harris. I run this place with an iron fist, cheap suits, and really bad breath. Holy man, Harris is a complete... Mr. Harris. A complete what? Need a moment? Oh. Chew it over with Twix. Welcome to the Whip Set, the only hour of TV bringing you the cars you want and the girls you can't have. First up, Formula D, drifting raw and uncut. Then check out Street Fury, heavy horsepower, custom kits, and oh yeah, ladies. The Whip Set, Sunday night, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. Once again, two people who drink and drive you crazy. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. By the way, X-Play does not advocate drinking and driving. Nor do we advocate angering the NASCAR fans, because they write us a lot of hate mail. And they're probably going to write us a lot more after this next review. Here's our critical take on NASCAR, sim racing. The roar of the engine, the smell of gasoline, and more product placement than a Jerry Bruckheimer movie. This is NASCAR sim racing. However, at first glance, the sim portion of the game seems to be missing. All of the default settings are in direct opposition of allowing you the freedom of a true sim game. We want the simulation of life for a racer. We don't need computer-assisted handling and steering, but we could use a story. Fortunately, you can turn the default settings off. The story, well, we decided to write our own. Again. Cobra, you're dangerous. You keep driving like that, and you'll end up driving yourself into a grave. You work the pit, and I'll drive the car. And I'll drive it up your ass if I want to. Even without our engaging animated story, the career mode offers an entertaining but frustrating mix of racing, tuning, and merchandising. You'll need to enhance your car's performance so you can master the track, which pulls in sponsors to pay for your performance upgrades so you can master the track to get more merchandising to pay for the upgrades. It's like I'm driving in a never-ending cycle, always turning left. Cobra, turn left! You gotta turn left! Turn the wheel to the left! Oh my god! I can't! I'm losing control! Turn to the left! I'm gonna crash! Left! Ah! Oh god! My goose! <laughs> my goose! Fortunately, the physics engine is better than our animators. As you jockey for position through the detailed recreations of 25 real-world tracks, you'll be pleased to see that the drafting, rubbing, and bumping all play out with a fair amount of realism. The crashes may not hold the same level of excitement as Burnout 3, but this is a NASCAR sim, so you shouldn't be driving the wrong way. He's broken six ribs, fractured his skull, dislocated his shoulder, punctured a lung, lost sight of one eye, developed colon cancer, has symptoms of malaria, and we found eight different venereal diseases. But will he race again? Well, that all depends on the strength of his heart. Sim racing also boasts entertaining online play. However, even with the extensive server options, you'll often be overcome by debilitating lag. After that, it's up to you to reach deep down and find the will to race again. If you get in that car again, you'll die. I have to drive. If I don't win this race, they're gonna foreclose on the orphanage. I have to try, please. I need your help. I... I almost lost you once. I don't. I... I can't. Shh. Captain, I'm not gonna die on you. And it makes me realize how Oh. Anyway, the game is an impressive looking title. The in-car view is a nice added feature and you'll feel the heat coming off the asphalt as you power through a line. The only problem with this level of quality is the system requirements. Anything less than a top of the line well-oiled PC machine will force you to drop game quality to unacceptable levels. But if you do have a steroid machine, enjoy turning left and work hard for those endorsements. NASCAR Sim Racing Pit Stops, a three out of five. Cobra, I'm pregnant. Sorry, baby. 
I'm in love with the road. You know, the X-Play animators make the people drawing Aqua Teen Hunger Force look like freaking Michelangelo. And um, I just want to point out that a pregnant man is biologically impossible. Morgan, through NASCAR, anything is possible. You look at a beer hat and tell me that isn't one of God's little miracles. Coming up, behind the scenes of Gran Turismo 4. Because someone out there probably cares. Mom, Dad. This is Kevin. Great to meet you. Thank you for having me over for dinner. I hope you're really hungry, kids. Uh... <clears throat> Dentine fire. Go bold. <sighs> Every 60 seconds, something cherished is lost. If only the right equipment were made available, such tragedies could be avoided. They say miracles happen every day. Well, when it comes to tying it down and keeping it down, that's what the all-new Toyota Tacoma's deck rail system is. A miracle. It may be the most important purchase you'll ever make. The 2005 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. The all-new Tacoma. Now that's moving you forward. Prepare. The journey awaits. Fight that you may prove yourself a true master. And if you conquer those who would deny your destiny, you shall be written into the legend of the Jade Empire. Rated M for Mature. Frustrated with high-priced internet providers cleaning you out? They charge over $20 a month for service that should cost half of that. It's time you tried People PC Online. With People PC Online, you get unlimited internet access for only $10.95 a month. Go to PeoplePC.com now to try us free for 30 days and compare us with your current ISP. People PC Online has all the features you'd expect from the big ISPs and a few things you might not, like virus blocker software to help protect your computer from harmful email viruses, more local access numbers than AOL, and a smart dialer for faster, more reliable connections, all for just $10.95 a month. No wonder over half a million people have switched to People PC Online in the last year. To try us free for 30 days, go to PeoplePC.com for a quick download of our easy-to-use software or call 1-800-537-2017. People PC Online, a better way to internet. Well, how come you haven't called me back? <sighs> because I was drunk and just using you for sex, okay? Really? Brutally honest, watch X-Play. Next. Once again, two uneasy riders, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. Later in the show, it's here. Yes, it. The driving game so immense, we've been covering it for three years. During its development, our show moved from San Francisco to Los Angeles. Morgan changed her hairstyle four times. And Adam lost his will to live. But thanks to the power of hope, I learned to dull my pain with lesser games. Games like Need for Speed Underground and Rally Sport Challenge mm -hmm. 2. And whiskey. Lots and lots of whiskey. Yeah. But now we actually have a review of Gran Turismo 4. And we're going to make you wait just a little longer. Because first, Morgan, I want to show you the time we went to Tokyo to get an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at the game. This is just a cheap way to make people stick around mm -hmm. for the review, isn't it? It's better with whiskey. At first glance, Polyphony Studios looks much like any other work environment. Lots of glazed egg cube dwellers struggling to make deadline. Then you start to notice the little differences. There seems to be a whole lot of toy cars around. And what the heck is Bakari Sweat? Take a step back and you realize that it's all in a giant simulated parking garage. Mmm, you can almost smell the carbon monoxide. Hey there. Hello. Hi. Hello. Morgan. Taku here. So, so where are we? You are at the uh, Polyphony Studios, where the greatest racing game on Earth, Gran Turismo, was made. This is our new offices that uh, we moved in about a year ago. Nice and slick. Got a lot of stuff to show you today. All right, so let's get started. Yeah, what do you want to show us first? I want to start with the uh, trophies, all the trophies we collected. The trophies? You want to start with the trophies? I'm having the Japanese humility. The Star Trek Award. So this is where people actually Get some work done. It's really quiet here. I mean, you imagine at a game studio, you think of people like throwing you know cruise balls at one another all the time. This studio gets most active after midnight. 
midnight to 4 a.m. You guys work here from midnight to 4 a.m. Yeah. Where are uh, people at home right now? Or? People are somewhere actually, uh, they're all buried under the table, they're all sleeping in the sleeping bags. Are, are, there, are there a lot of arguments here? Like, no, I want to turn left on this course, but no, I want to turn right. There's a lot of that, yeah, there's a lot of that happening in uh, the relaxation room and also the brainstorming room. What is this? This is their brainstorming. So you do a lot of brainstorming in here? Yes. Have you ever thought about any hot dog cars? How about cars that drive backwards? Mm. See? You're already great getting idea. great yeah. ideas. Yeah. It's because of this room. OK, you guys make games, but you have a playroom. Explain. Well, the guy didn't want his programmers to die. Brought in some exercise machines. Okay. Otherwise, his you games. You guys, we're kind of over here. This is my story. Do, do you have people who don't even like leave the office ever and just you know just sort of abandon paying rent and just really kind of just do it here? I'd say a good 50% of them. Really? It rolls one way and then it rolls another. It's so cool. What is this? This is a washer and dryer machine. No, there's only one thing. Combined together. Huh. It's using technology. It's a washer and dryer in one? Well, I want to work here now. You have cars made of rubber that bounce off things mm. like crazy balls. He's got a curtain so he can sleep in the dark. <laughs> Martha Stewart would approve. How about cars with one wheel? Unicycle cars? Yeah. Right in the middle. That was a quick tour of the office. Yeah, like yeah, it? yeah. I'm, I'm really impressed with just how yeah. hard you guys work around here. So can we get some time on the game? Oh, we have to finish a game here, so you guys have to go. Sorry. What? Oh. Go home, go home. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Eat it. Don't let his sassy walk confuse you. Our review of Gran Turismo 4 is up next. You know, I can walk sassy too, but modesty prohibits it. Didn't prohibit you from stapling yourself in the crotch. God, you're never gonna let that go, will you? It stapled to my memory. What this? Up next, at long last, our review of Gran Turismo 4. Lord, please make it not suck. <laughs> what we do for a living. We're software developers. With the online program from Westwood, you can train from home to design, code, and test games like this. And this. Can you believe that we get paid for playing games? Westwood College now offers training online for video game careers. Call toll-free 888-636-0077. That's 636-0077. Not intended for residents of Texas or Massachusetts. Once again, two people who can't believe they're paying 30 bucks for a tank of gas. Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. And that's just for my Vespa. And my rickshaw. Welcome back to X-Play. After three years of waiting, 
Here it is, our review of Gran Turismo 4. It's about time, people. Yeah. After numerous delays, the so-called real driving simulator is finally back. Gran Turismo 4 is one game where the rubber meets the road. Hey, man, what's up? Chillin', say. Didn't I meet you outside the truck stop in Harrisburg? With 700 cars, the game is becoming the Pokemon for adults. No, seriously, half of this game's allure is collecting them all. And this game's got them all. You can race just about anything. Turbo-powered imports, street cars, classic exotics, muscle cars, you name it. Each car handles just like the real thing, and you'll be hard-pressed to find more accurate racing physics. Unlocking the cars is no easy task. The infamous license tests have returned, which will test your metal at a variety of skills. And you'll have to complete them just to get cash from the events on Gran Turismo 4's massive map of motorsports. The super license tests will have your controllers quivering with fear. What do you think about them license tests, buddy? No, I don't like them license tests, see? Once you're on the circuit, the game becomes a tell-all of automotive acumen. Some tracks are over 10 miles long. The 50 different courses are just as varied as the vehicles on offer. Man, some of those tracks was long. I almost peed my rumble strip. See? Just like past games, the races themselves reward strong, consistent driving and tweakers. And tweak you can. Not surprisingly, just about every aspect of your car can be modified to your heart's content. Some of the less popular aspects of past GT games are still present. The old bumper car tactic is still your best weapon. And with no visible damage or hits of performance from crashes, feel free to slam away. Man, they never fixed that shit. I've had this skid mark for a good five years. See? There's no online mode which is definitely disappointing. In its place, we get a photo mode. Check out the dual carbs on that one. Hmm, yeah, see? That's right, you can take photos of your pokey cars and then print them out. There's also a LAN option for up to six players and arcade mode and much more. The good times just keep on rolling with this one. It's easily the most steep and thorough racing game on the market, and it's gorgeous to boot. Hey, man, what do you think of that Gran Turismo 4? Oh, I give that a five out of five, see? Now go forth and collect them all. All right, there. Even though there's no online play and no damage, this is still the most comprehensive racing game out there, so we gave it a five. Do you agree with us, or do you think the lack of online play is a deal breaker? Well, let us and those other XPlay fans know at our message boards. G4TV.com slash XPlay. There's also games, downloads, and a list of upcoming episodes. Yes, that could That's be cute. the fodder that we're canceled or something. <laughs> have to use the code. BBA, BBA. I've seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles naked. L1, L1. Zelda, naked. Left, left, left. Mario, no pants. A, B, A, B. R1, R1, R1. Lakers, naked. Master Chief, Pittsburgh Steelers, Manchester United, but naked. R1, 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 R1. Get cheats and walk through strategies for Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Never get nabbed again. Cheat with Kristen Holt. Tomorrow night at 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific.